What's up guys, my name is Technobe here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a video for you on installing the Peace Equalizer and everything required for it. So basically, what exactly is this? Well, it's simply just an equalizer for absolutely everything on a specific output device on Windows. Super useful, especially for programs that don't have this sort of control or you simply want this sort of control over every single application uniformly. It's really useful for headphones that don't have a lot of bass and you want to give them more or the opposite or quite literally anything. So first of all, head across to the first link in the description down below to download Peace. This is the GUI and in order for this to work, we'll need Equalizer APO. So I'll go ahead and hold control then click on this and we'll be installing it. Note over here, installation, copy piece executable to the Equalizer APO install folder and run piece. So first of all, I'm gonna download piece. So I'll scroll down to the bottom, download, and you can choose either the 32-bit or the 64-bit. Then Equalizer APO, we'll scroll down to the bottom and I'll click on the 64-bit as well. Of course, if you're on a 32-bit PC, download 32-bit for both of them. Then I'll open up the installer, Equalizer APO. I'll hit next, I agree. And we'll remember where this location is. It's a good idea to right click and copy it. Next, install. Then we'll go ahead and select the devices that would like this to be installed for. So playback devices and capture devices can both be EQ'd. So for me, I'll only be using my actual physical output, output one, two, and three, four. And of course you can choose more, but I just have these two outputs. So I'll hit okay. And as you can see, it can be opened at any time by launching configurator.exe in the installation directory. Then it simply asks us to reboot, which I'll go ahead and do. And there we go, now that we've restarted, let's simply head across to where we installed the program. So we can do this by hitting start and having a look at the new programs. We have configuration editor, configurator, benchmark, and that's about it. If I right click more open file location, we'll get taken to where the shortcuts are. Then I can simply right click on one of these shortcuts and go to open file location. Then we'll be taken to C program files, equalizer, APO, or wherever you installed it. Then we'll open up the config folder and we'll open up our downloads folder as well. I've put piece on my desktop, but all you need to do is drag and drop it into this config folder as such, and then you can go ahead and launch it. So why exactly did we download this? Well, opening it up, clicking yes, you can see we can pick what kind of interface we want. I'll choose all features. And then we have this nice interface over here. We can apply amplification to our sound and we have the full equalizer over here. For setups with multiple speakers, we can change all of the speakers EQs here by clicking on them and adjusting them individually. Then in the bottom left, we have all of these presets. And of course, when we're done with something, we can hit save. So I can load one by clicking on it. Audio will dip out for a second, but when it comes back, we'll have everything applied. But of course, go through all of the settings and find what you like. Sticking to these presets is probably going to be the most useful to begin with, but of course, when you become more comfortable with it, you can go ahead and adjust these by yourself. Then once you're done, you can hit save and save yourself a preset. I'll save it as test one, apply an icon, save. Then it's at the very bottom over here. We can simply just click on it whenever we'd like to switch back to it. And of course, at the very bottom, we have automation over here. So if we want to, we can switch EQ setups by using a hotkey whenever a program starts up, etc., etc. There's a ton of customization that you can do with this. So say you open up Spotify, you can load up a bass boosted one, you load up something else, and it'll load your, say, gaming setup where you've adjusted it so you can hear footsteps better or something along those lines. Then of course, you can use it to prevent clipping. You can adjust the volume of the actual speakers there, which just adjusts the slider over here. Then we can also check the effects panel over here and we have a ton of effects that we can use. Commands for even more advanced things. Then of course, if you'd like to keep this program open, you can simply click to tray and it will disappear down into the tray over here where you can simply click on it and it opens up. Now, of course, once you're happy with this, you can simply just close it and leave it where it is. Everything will be left as is. Then of course, when you're finally happy with everything, you can simply close out of it and we're basically done. If you start up Windows and you'd like to get that to pump up with it, you can simply head back to the config folder, hold down Alt after selecting piece and drag and drop it to your desktop to create a shortcut. Of course, you can also right click and create shortcut. And then if we go ahead and open up the configurator that came with APO, we get back to the screen over here and we can choose what devices we'd like to edit. And of course, you can also edit input devices, which is incredibly interesting. But anyways, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. My name has been Technobe here for Troubleshoot. Hopefully you found this video useful and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.